I just like punched myself in the face. Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Today we are jumping into a new Fears to Fathom episode called Iron Bark Lookout. In case you haven't seen the Fears to Fathom series already, in every episode of Fears to Fathom there's some new creepy story and it's usually based on true events. In this one we get a new job at a state park where we are a lookout. You know, one of those people that like looks out for fires in the forest to try to prevent them. But things start to get a little weird when people start stalking us at our lookout and I can assure you they're not campers in the forest. Just like all the other Fears to Fathom episodes, this one is amazing and super creepy and the jump scares, the jump scares really got me in this one. So as usual, I hope you guys enjoy. Enough of me talking, let's hop right in. Fears to Fathom, episode four, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey. I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Oh yeah, so just so everybody knows, apparently um, all the Fears to Fathom stories are based off of true stories, or at least most of it is. Like the stories are submitted uh, to the game developer and he chooses which one he just makes a game out of. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Hey, okay, we drive in the RV. Hey, we got there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta, we gotta take a look at our place, right? Okay, we got some vibey music. Please don't be copyrighted. Oh my god, and we have the text messages. I forgot this exists. Let's look at our text messages. Who's texting us? Oh my god, we got some chats to read. Mitch Scott. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot from about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I gave your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? I'm not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked the question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are, only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life, this is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt to just fine to Iron Bark. Good, I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday, just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. All right, so gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot, take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. This new regional manager is, all right, so Kayla. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. I wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Haha. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change. Hey, okay, we got the we got the ID card. Iron Bark? They're staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabs and less campers. Call me. With dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today, out of all days. Isn't it late? 
If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Is this my sister then? Because she said, oh yeah, <laughs> we have the same last name, duh. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Oh my god, I shouldn't text and drive. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Do we have some kind of like... Is there something that made us decide that we wanted to stay out here, or...? Should I just crash into this truck? God, the voices. <laughs> I should have taken it easy. Sorry, sorry, I let the voices take over. My bad. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Damn, Kayla, chill, I'm trying to drive. I can't talk to you right now. I have to be a stand-up citizen and not text and drive. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Oh. I missed the diner at first. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to stop at the diner. My bad. Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh god, now I have to turn around. Oh, yay, yay! That's crazy. That's crazy. Remember there's the diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. All right, so I'm not meeting her here. She just recommended I go eat at this place. Hey, it was good. Oh, I see the burgers are really good. You're definitely munching on that thing. <laughs> Why did he freeze like that? Chill, bro, it's not that serious. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Ah, oh, that guy is so nice. Look at that. Now, this is some paranormal activity right here. Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How about you? Feel free to ask any seat. Feel, blah, blah, blah. Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. You didn't really have to come outside for that. Or walk through the door. Hey, what's going on, sir? Please leave me alone. All right. For sure. How about you? You look a little lost. I'm just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for a vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Uh, starting my new job at a nearby state park. Oh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. Mm, that's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I could be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Right. Someone tell me something interesting. How about you? You look interesting. A long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, chat. This is why we talk to everybody. What? I need to go. What do you mean you need to go? What happened to the kids at the state park? Do you know what happened to the kids at the state park? All right, we got a bag, a cloth, and a dirty shovel. Sir, what have you been up to? Uh, oh, do you mind if I join you? He just stared at me. All right, I guess he doesn't want me to join him. All right, fine, fine. I'll go sit down only after I go to the bathroom. P test, P test.
Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes, Barbara. So what can I get for you today? Uh, so <laughs> I keep mixing up my voices. Uh, let me get a cheeseburger with fries, because that's what I would order in real life. Ah, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Um, let me get a strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? Um, that will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Dude, I feel like this dialogue is literally me. There ain't no way that's my order. There ain't no way. Stop it right now, Barbara. Stop it right now. Don't tell me this is my food. Oh, Barbara. That was so quick. Consuming. <laughs> Why did he describe it like that? Consuming. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Consuming. <laughs> Makes me sound like a fucking monster, dude. Hey, that guy's going to the bathroom. Did you enjoy the feud? <laughs> Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great, Barbara. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. And your number, if you, if you don't mind. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Speaking that, I probably won't see a woman again for like six months at this job. Ah, for real, give Barbara a raise. She got that food for me in seconds, bro. And then the second I finish eating, she offers me a check? Come on, this is good service. <gasps> Here's the check. Your total is $7.60 for a burger, fries, and a slushie? I'm hoping your number's on the receipt, but I'm giving you a 50% tip anyway, because that was incredible. Thanks for the generous tip. You're welcome, Barbara. All right, let me talk to my homie over here one more time. Now, this man is consuming that burger. <laughs> I can't get over how he just completely freezes when I start talking to him. Uh, where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Oh, he did say that, right? Oh, I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Oh, come on, no way, I left the door open. Why do I have such a bad habit of doing this? Nobody's in here, right? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Did I leave the door open? Wait, chat, did I leave the door open? Does anybody know if I actually did? Maybe I did close it. 8.02 p.m. That's insanely specific. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Yeah, so probably a good idea to change the name. Oh, is this where I park? No, I'm gonna keep going. The game will tell me if, if I shouldn't. I drove past the trail at first. Okay. And there's the game telling me that I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I wasn't very proud of my driving. Oh, is the bathroom door still stuck? Yeah. I'm closing the door. Remember this chat, the door is closed. Oh, dude, the three kids. <laughs> there's no way, dude. Brit. Knee Spheres. Hugh Jessman. Sunita Williams. Is Sunita, who is Sunita Williams? Am I missing the joke with that one? I definitely got Brit Knee Spheres. And Hugh Jessman. <laughs> 
Alcoholic beverages prohibited. Iron Bark State Park. Please stay on the trail. Switchback shortcutting destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please pack out all trash you don't burn. Don't burn trash. Animals will dig it up. Oh, Serena Williams. Yeah, why did I not? But isn't that... All right. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Holy moly, you scared me? You scared me, bro. I did not scare you. You scared me. <laughs> I really walked into this room thinking nobody was going to be in here. Holy crap. <sighs> I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hired. Chat, did you see that? Hey, hey, sir, whoever that was in the back there, you're not supposed to go that way. You're supposed to come around through the trail. Somebody just walked across the window here. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Hey, you go do that. Bro was about to shoot me. Did you see that gunning out of his head? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Thanks, Billy. Let me open the trail gate for you. Now you do that. I'm going to explore here a little bit, though. Yeah, I opened it like this, and I saw how much of a mess this was, and I was like, oh, this place is abandoned. But no, bro was just sitting behind the door. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hack to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. God bless. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing, a nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. G to throw. Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than a half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Why? Why do I have the ability to throw the flashlight? I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Alright, this flashlight kind of ass. Really? Foot trail. No bikes, no horses. Oh, no, no, no bikes, only horses. And stay on the trail. Marcus, you are a silly Billy. Also, say hi, Gia, please. Hi, Gia. Wait, why do I have to? I can't, I can't bring the RV through, though. Did it say I had to go back to the RV? Oh, you need your bag. It's in the car. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, I definitely didn't leave that on. 11.32 p.m. So that was, what, a three-hour walk? It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Oh, I see the tower. See, I wouldn't mind doing this if I could at least go during the day. Like, why do I got to pull up at night? All right, Lacey Trail is that way. That's the Gold Creek Trail. That's what we were just on. This is the tower. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. All right, so we got a utility shack, we got our bathroom, and then the tower. Oh, fuck. Chat, look at the right. Wait, did he ever fix that? 
I don't think he did. I remember that was that was the thing I requested a lot in the third one was I don't know what mic that's locking on. All right, see that's locking on that that mic on the right is listening to my desktop sound. So it, it hears the game. So that's the crickets and stuff. So I got to lower that completely whenever we have to hide. Oh, yes. I can pee twice. Yeah, so, um... Oh, generator. Oh, wow. I just... Alright, that was actually something we had to do. Alright, what do we got in the utility shack? Alright, we got gas. My hands were full. Um... Binoculars. All right, so we're gonna have to come back down here. Let's drop our stuff off at the top. Let's go check out our new home chat. Oh, there's the other lookout tower. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Well, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Let me just do a sweep of the outside. Should all these windows really be boarded up? I thought the point of the tower was so that you could still see everything while being inside, you know? Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. That's nice. Can I get a light? There we go. It's finally in my new home for the next few months. <laughs> Ooh, look at how the flashlight landed. Oh wait, I could log on the computer? What do we got on the computer? Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. All right, do I guess the password chat? Okay, the password was not password. I was born firefinder. It's like a giant compass the size of a pizza. God, I really need to. Oh. Wait, wait, no, wait. No! <laughs> no, I'm gonna start a fire! <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Let me cook, let me cook. There we go. Alright, there's no wood in there to burn, but... At least there's a safe place for the fire to be. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. What are we, uh, 11? Ironbark 11. Tower 11, yeah. Nice. God, look at how old this PC is. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. Thank you, Smiley. Uh, I gotta do service reporting, right? Oh, crap. Welcome to the state-of-the-art service reporting software developed. Oh. Yo, guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Oh, my God. Who is this? I thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Thank you, I suppose. So what is it? What? Your name? Oh, it's Jack. Jack Nelson. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Caught it, thanks. Wow, I love Connor. You were right, Flashstorm. Alright, I'm turning the music off because. Alright, I imagine Connor is not real and I just. <laughs> I'm just getting set up by. Oh. Do I not need wood? I thought I was going to have to go down and grab wood. Am I supposed to get a fire going? There was no fire. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was... 
Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Alright, yes sir. Alright, so we'll grab our flashlight and not sit down. And let's go grab some firewood from the shack. Connor Skin Skinwalker 100% ain't no way. I think he's cool for now. For now. He hasn't acted sketchy to me yet. He's He's been pretty nice. They have alluded to the fact that the person who was in this tower before me, like something bad happened to them, and I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Wait, no! <laughs> Damn it. No! This could go so wrong. Oh yeah. We're cooking, chat. Literally All cooking. Right, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No, I did not. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. I don't. How do I report? Weather condition. Oh god. Wind speed in knots. Number of hikers assisted. That's definitely zero. Reported by your mom. Uh, temperature in Fahrenheit and wind speed. All right, so we need temperature in Fahrenheit and wind speed. How do I find those out? Okay, let me just make sure. Oh, it's a little cloudy. So I wouldn't say it's clear. There's some clouds in the sky, you know what I'm saying? Is that pepper spray? 20 knots. Oh my god, Chad, I'm actually working. Okay, that's a compass. How would I get the temp? 46.9. Okay, I'm not typing anywhere. 20. All right, we're cooking, chat. Yeah, it's clouds. I wasn't sure if I'd put in the right weather condition. Do you want me to put in clear? Oh, okay. All right, cool. You copy, new guy? Right here. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't no, you. Fight. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Ah, I love Connor. Oh no. Unintelligible. Oh crap. Come on, I'm scared already. I had to pee? Are you. S I. We literally went pee earlier, bro. We went pee twice. Connor? Oh, fuck. Oh, come on, man. Where's the flashlight? Well, my first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Oh, we doing a whole, we doing a whole exterior check, chat. All right, I don't see bro's tower lights on. Yo, true, we should just be able to pee off the balcony. That'd be so much nicer. Close the door. Why isn't it letting me go? He needs to sleep now? Oh, what the hell? So why did he say he needed to pee? Night two. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. Ah, oh, the vibes are immaculate. Left mouse button to take photo. Take a picture of my homie Connor. Oh yeah, see all the things are down now. Before it was all boarded up. Hey guy, you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? 
I'm coming, I'm coming, Connor. Give me a second. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Ugh, good thing I'm an incredible tower lookout. The smoke was white. Indicative of campfire. Oh, wow. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? Yes, yes, dude. Chill. Can you give me a fucking second to look at it? You spot that white smoke up north? Yes, I see it. to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Sure, doing something at night, I mean in the day, absolutely. I would gladly go. And I'm bringing my flashlight because I ain't no fool. I ain't no stupid stupid. I'm going to check it out. All right, they said Lacey Trail, right? Caution, bears in area. Too bad I'm going to spray him down. 8.37 p.m. Oh, great, it's dark. Good thing I brought the flashlight. Imagine if I didn't. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh, hell nah. No camping. She gives the bet. Oh, no, nah, look at the three people hanging. That's definitely in reference to the kids. Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? All right, Kayla, I'm dealing with your shit later. Hello? Do you hear the whistling? Hello? Who's there? Anybody there? Oh, hell no. Damn, I don't have a radio to contact Connor. The area beyond the site was closed. I had to put it out. Oh my god, I have to put down the spray? Come on, bruh. Should we go check again? All right, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, there was somebody definitely walking behind me. 9.07 PM. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that what might have happened. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. You know, they do say, like, when you have a feeling like that, you should always listen to it. Oh, no. Wait for programs to respond. Please don't crash. Oh, my God. W game. Usually when you hit wait for it to respond, it never does. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No, it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Since. 
What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. Oh, absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. Uh, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Oh, I love Connor. We have such a good friendship already. Friendship goals. Watch the orientation video on your computer. Will do. Hold on, let me answer Kayla. Kayla's been going crazy. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Pizza pasta bake. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom. Look at that photo. It makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Ah, it can't be delivered. Damn. Oh, so I can make the food. All right, hold on. Let's uh, let's watch the orientation video. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Well, hello there, Jack. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't <laughs> going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It smoke looks like this. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. <laughs> spread out of hand. <gasps> what is this? I'm gonna drink and drive. Stop fires before they get too wild. That's insane. That is actually insane. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. 
What do you do for a living? Uh huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <sighs> Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? <laughs> Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f*** did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh**. Ra Ross. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Why and won't it let me pause? A little water there. Testicular green? Brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, <laughs> forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. There were so many concerning things about that video. All right, maybe cats.mp4 will be nice. That was like really good. Actually, let's look at the trail map. Dude, that's a really detailed map. That's a, that's the thing I love about the Fierce to Fathom games. The detail that goes into it is so, there's so much detail. Like the first game starts off, you're just stuck in a house and that's kind of it. But even when they return to the house setting in episode three, you're able to go to the store and everything's interactable. Like there's so much detail in these games. Like real, like he did not have to make a map this in depth. This is really nice. What's plague.exe? This is insane. What? It's a whole ass game. Okay, whoa, this is kind of difficult. Yeah, I don't think it ends. Oh my God, you can even make it full screen. That's incredible detail, man. All right, uh, let's let's get the the weather information for the night. Okay, 21. 21 and 48.7. Okay. All right, um. So that's done. We have to make food now, right? It's just this dish? Like that's the that's the type of thing it is.
Bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Enjoy. Ignore the mess I made. Okay, it's like a lasagna, basically. Gotcha. This guy, you there? Yes, Connor, I am. This guy, you copy? All right, this guy does not give me a second to reply. What is it, Connor? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. Nice. Don't worry. Forest Service agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. I hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. I don't know where we sketched. Oh my god, that ticking sound. I thought it was somebody at the door. I like it eating in bed. That's odd. But sure. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. Oh, I'll put it in the fridge, sure. It was getting cold. I thought I'd get wood. Oh my god. Come on, I think I hear footsteps, and now you're telling me I gotta go outside? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I hear the whistling, I hear the whistling, I hear the whistling. I do not have any pepper spray on me. I mean, bear spray, whatever the hell it is. Nice. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Ah, this game just gives me every excuse in the book to go outside. I will throw hands. How do I close the boards? Oh, like that. God damn it. Connor, are you okay? What happened? Oh, hey, new guy. I think I accidentally downloaded some virus onto the tower's computer. Now the computer keeps crashing every few minutes. Oh, dude, I used to download viruses accidentally all the time before I got NordVPN. Nord what? You've never heard of NordVPN? They give you secure and private access to the internet. Their threat protection scans files as they're being downloaded for malware. And they warn you about some of the dangerous websites where malware can be found. Wait, that's actually super useful. They actually do so much more than that too. Their main mission is to make the internet better for everyone overall. So they protect you from phishing, password attacks, DDoSing, malvertising, and ransomware too. Where can I get Nord? Well, you can get it at the link in the description down below. Also, have you ever left home and then your content gets region blocked? Like your Netflix or your Hulu? Well, while you're not home physically, Nord can help you stay home virtually. Just choose on the map where you want to connect to, and boom, you can access your content again. Okay, new guy. I'm gonna head off the radio for the night and get Nord VPN right now. Guys, don't be like Connor and wait for your data to get leaked or for your computer to get a virus. Use my link in the description and get an exclusive deal that gets you four months extra for free when you get a two-year plan. And it's all risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. With Nord, you'll never have to worry about viruses or stolen data ever again. And all right, I think it's time to go to sleep because we got to continue working in the tower tomorrow. 2.27 a.m., bro, please do not have to pee. I was over by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the hell is that? Where's the spray? Nah, nah, nah. Chill, chill, chill. 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 Where's the spray? I don't see the spray. Oh, right mouse button to hide. Usually over here, right? Let's go, game pull up. All right, they must have left. What is this? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. 
The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Good idea. Yo, Connor, homie. Home dog. Home dizzle. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's... There's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. Mention the skull. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. <sighs> this is. This feels like a. This feels like some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, you guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door. That's a good point. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Why do they look like bloody? <laughs> I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in. Okay, I missed that. Or by scanning the densities of the trees all around me. Oh, I could clean them. That's nice. What the hell? Um, Connor, I don't think that's normal. Oh, hello. Is anyone there? Hello. You're not I, Connor. I need help. Please. Someone answer. You're not Connor. Who are you? Hello. Can anyone hear me? This is Jack Tower. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. What's your current, oh, you probably wouldn't know. What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Chat, write that down. Red jacket, camo pants, and green backpack. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surround. I thought shooting oh, a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. Okay, so... The... It came from that way. Which is west. Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going. Yes, yes, I get it. Can you let me look at the map? God damn. All right, we'll say left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Ha! I knew it! I thought I looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. I'm right here! What? I hear you. I hear your whistles. 
That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. That guy is blind. There is no way. <laughs> there is no way you're chilling. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? All right, hours is an over-exaggeration. Let's chill. I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass this, pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. And you could have put it down if you're standing there for so long. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you up there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on campfire smoke. Oh Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods are normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. You've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? I mentioned the skull. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> this guy likes saying that a lot. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. Better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Now that the camper is dead. Come on, bro. That kid's dead. Wind? Okay. Cool. It was getting cold, thought I'd get the wood stove going. Ah, this game. Oh my goodness. There's no way, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen when I go to get this wood right now. I just like punched myself in the face. Who the fuck are you? Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, he's really good, man. He's really good. Cause I was like, I thought someone was gonna be inside. So when I walked in, saw nobody there, I was like, all right, cool. I'm grabbing this stuff and dipping. And then, <laughs> <sighs> you just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work the slate? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. You must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right. We rely on information about fire sightings. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. Alright, I should head back to my tower. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. That guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Hmm. So, it does, it does seem like that guy's in the cult. But... 
he also messes with my communication lines. I didn't mention my name, but he did know I was the new guy, and he said that everybody was talking about me, so maybe maybe that's how he knows my name. Alright, before the game asks me to do this later, I'm just gonna do this now. Bedtime? I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? What do you mean? I'm not in there. I am in there. You copy now. Right here. <sighs> Finally. Trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get fire, bud. Oh wait, no, hold on. Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over Good and night. out. Over and out. <sighs> Too many red flags. Too many red flags. We should have definitely called for help by now. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 PM. You got it. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Ah. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, how do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways. For now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. Alright. Uh, help. Check for available system update. CHKUPD. Three updates found in total filtering. Um... Update them? Please enter the package code. Oh. Update. 4346084. Invalid package code? What do you mean? Oh, I just had to enter the code. Okay. There we go. Serviceable lines. Please enter an active line. I don't understand. What do you mean active line? Serviceable lines, busy lines. Well, these aren't. Five, four, eight, seven. Oh, there we go. System is now up to date. What the hell? The generator just blow out down here. Generator ran out of gas. Damn tree scared me. I really had to be before going back up. Okay. Okay, thank God. One week later. Alright, so literally nothing happened there. 
The generator just ran out of gas. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there's no, f when there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Two thirty-four a.m. We got another one. Oh, Connor. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? He never calls me Jack. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've what been happens? here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. This is not gonna be good, is it? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Uh, I have a feeling that's the last time I'm ever gonna speak to Connor. Where is there smoke? Oh. Oh, it's visible. Wait, hold on. What in the actual hell? Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. He's still up here. He went left. He didn't go right. Right is the staircase. Huh? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Where am I running to? Where am I even running to? Where am I running to? The RV is like a three mile run from here.
though I do think that might be the only option. I just gotta run to Connor. Oh, nope, we're running to the RV. Yo, gang. It was locked? I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still hits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. True, we did have photo evidence. Yeah, low key, maybe they were in on it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they kept writing it off like everything was fine. Like, come on, dude. All right, guys, so that was Fierce to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. And honestly, that episode was just as good as all the other ones, if not better. I think the forest setting was way creepier than any of the house settings that we've been in in the past. I sadly do think that this might be the second to last Fierce to Fathom episode. I believe there are only five episodes plans that the developer was ever going to do. I hope maybe the developer changes their mind and continues to make more and more episodes because these episodes that we play are just amazing every time they're always super creepy the jump scares are always so good there is one thing though that confuses me a little bit which is why nobody really believed us my chat pointed out that we did take a picture of that whole ritual thing that was going on why did nobody believe us when we said all of this happened we do have photo evidence. I mean, either way, I hope our boy Connor that was in the other tower, I hope he didn't have to go through the same thing we did and hopefully he just continued doing his job peacefully. Maybe eventually they'll find out that there really is a cult in the forest and that they should probably take care of that issue. And maybe that's why kids are going missing. But be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments down below. Also, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We do videos like this on the channel all the time and we're trying to hit 300K before the end of the year. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.